MP4, V2. I think international cooperation cooperation is is important to a certain extent. We don't want war a cooperation. We don't want war war another World War II, although the UN and EU are completely corrupt. Yeah. International cooperation, 100 percent That's one thing that's happening right now that Russia and China are doing. They're getting people to cooperate together. Example, primo, number one, right? Saudi Arabia and Iran have been at each other's throats for decades. Anybody from this region knows Sunni Shia. They're number one enemies. They hate each other more than they hate uh, Zionists, right? But with the help of Russia and China, Iran and Saudi Arabia, the top two countries of Shia and Sunni, right? The one that dictate the flow of that region, what the political economic situation will be. They're getting them together. That's international cooperation. Who's trying to prevent that from happening? Right? Brussels. So international cooperation, 100%, extremely essential to prevent World War III. But you can only have it when psychopaths, neocons, do not control this region, right? Western world is a collapsing empire. It's not a go, it's, it's told us, it's not going to go quietly into the night. And it's not going to change its ways to improve the lives of us, those of us that live in the Western world, the citizens. It's going to try to lower the standard of living in the countries that are challenging it, which means World War Three. which also means our standard of living goes down in the Western world. That's where we are right now. That's where we are right now. 